everybody. Welcome to Sci-Fi's li uh, live streaming. We have with us today in a wonderful, wonderful guest. He is a actor, comedian, voice actor, producer. You're a multi-hyphenate, my friend. <laughs> I'm all the hyphens. And it is, of course, Mr. Phil Lamar. Hello, sir. Hi, Tara. How are you? I am very good. And just to, to let you guys know who I am, I am Tara Bennett. I am a senior producer and editor for Sci-Fi Wire. And she got a couple hyphens herself. I'm a, a little, a little mini hyphens. But <laughs> I am first and foremost a huge fan of your work, um, especially oh, Mr. Samurai Jack. Hello. Thank you very much for your support. Oh, all right, I'm done. This is the greatest day ever. <laughs> no, uh, you know, I wanted to ask because you were able to finish the story for Jack last Finally. year. Finally. Well, and it was 14 years of fans basically going, well, we're probably really never going to get an end to that story. <laughs> well, it was 14 years of me running into Gendy every place. Like, what do you think? It's like, I really want to finish the story. And... Finally, all of the elements, you know, the, the planets aligned in just the right way, and he was able to do it, and I think he just knocked it out of the park on a creative level. It was just so... It, it took everything that was great about the original run of the series and just amped it up even more. I want to go back to... So you had those conversations for years. Yeah. When did you finally, how did it come across? And it, was it a call? Was it, you know, somebody finally coming from Cartoon Network saying uh, to your agent, what was the well, process? No. <laughs> well, the process was I saw something on the internet saying, Samurai Jack is coming back. Of course, that's always a way, I was right? like, <laughs> really? And I called my agent. And they're like, we haven't heard anything. <laughs> like, oh. And of course, this was right after they had re start announced the reboot of Powerpuff Girls right. with none of the original, of the original Powerpuff Girls. Right. So we were a little nervous. A little nervous, yeah. Um, no, I had to um, find Gendy's wife on Facebook because he's not on any social media. <laughs> and like, hey, I heard this Samurai Jack's coming back. That's cool, right? You, you want some people that were there before, would right? I, would, do I? She's like, yeah, here, call Gendy. It's fine. <laughs> And he said, of course, of course, yes, no. I'm doing it, and you're doing it. I'm like, all right, good. That's all I need to know. Awesome. So what was the process? Uh, you know, sometimes creators like to do a little walkthrough with people so they can see the art. Sometimes they just get scripts. What was the process for you? Well, I think there wasn't time. Mm -hmm. Because part of the, you know, alignment of things was that Gendy had a break in his schedule between right. Hotel Transylvania movies and... He and Brian Andrews and, you know, all the rest of the creative people just, you know, hit the ground running. Like, let's write this. Let's get this going. Let's, you know, because I think they had the idea, but then they had to flesh it out, yeah. get it, you know, complete, and then get it moving. And, you know, it's not easy to do. Well, one, it's not easy to do animation, period. No. And it's really difficult to do animation at that level. Right, exactly. You know? So. And it just was an amazing season. And it was different. You know, they came back with a very mature, uh, older, wiser, yeah. uh, sadder in some ways, well, Jack. I like to say that this season, the season five of Samurai Jack is kind of what the show would have been had it run for 14 years. <laughs> it you know, there. Yeah. everybody would have grown, you know, the audience would have grown, mm -hmm. and we would have come to a natural conclusion. Right. You know, of course, probably had it been for 14 years, seasons 12 and 13 would have been real bummers. <laughs> it's true, right? Oh, he lost his sword in season 11, and now we've just been watching him suffer. <laughs> Mope. You know? Until he gets that motorcycle, right? Exactly. <laughs> How was it coming back to oh, yeah. the character? Spoilers. Yeah, it, yeah, forget it, guys. You need to catch up. It's, That's it's my thing. It's like, if, you, if you're still complaining about spoilers, you didn't care that much. No, you need it, you, you need haven't seen it yet. It. Yeah. Be there. Um, what was it like coming back to the character in that different space? Because he was uh, a lot more introspective. Um, he had a romance for the first yes. time, which spoiler, but again, get up, guys. Uh, um, and what was it like being able to play different facets that they had never given him to you before? Again, it was, it felt natural. I mean, it was a huge challenge, um, but I mean, especially because it was this same wonderful person mm -hmm. that we'd all come to know and love for over the years, but he was in a very, very different place. He was so, mo so much more damaged, you know? 
And for me, the challenge was to play, you know, these circumstances, you know, the, this loss, this like 50 years. I mean, you know, you hear those stories of Japanese soldiers lost in the jungle, don't know the war is over yet. Like that for 50 years. Totally. But he knows he's, the war is over and he's lost, you know, just, but also hold on to what made the character special. So hold on to a little bit of that light in all the darkness, yes. you know, um, and especially in the scenes where he starts talking to himself. himself. Yeah. And I tried to create a kind of old Jack mm -hmm. who is very much dark and in a place that he does not feel complete, he does not feel whole. And also have some of the, you know, the idea of Jack in his head, the younger Jack, who yeah. is a little bit lighter in some ways, but who uh, progressively gets angrier, angrier at and, him. and darker in his own way. Yeah. But it's a young, energetic darkness. What do you mean? Give us the sword, it's ours. Oh, uh, yeah, you know? so amazing. So it's the same guy, but different parts of his head.